Unfortunately, huge clashes in Egypt today. Uh, they appear to be uh, instigated by the Egyptian military. A terrible death toll. 300 people killed, according to the last count. And the numbers were rising throughout the day. They might rise again. At least 235 civilians, 43 police officers. More than 1,400 people have been injured. And some of the sites from there are absolutely grisly. And we'll show you some of those as we go along here. Uh, now, uh, I say it's instigated by the military because, yes, the Muslim Brotherhood was hanging out uh, and doing a sit-in at two important intersections in Cairo, and they've been doing that since Morsi was deposed, but that is called a protest. I was against uh, getting rid of protesters in the Occupy movement when they did it in New York. I'm against it now when they do it in Egypt. Now, I got no love for the Muslim Brotherhood, and there are reports now that they are attacking churches. Now, why are they attacking churches? Well, that's because... Uh, they like to hit the powerless and if someone is hitting you and you can't hit them back effectively what do you do you pick someone weaker now that's loathsome and to needlessly hit the minority Christians in Egypt is beyond ridiculous now having said that the people who are the most powerful in Egypt are the military then they're charged with protecting the citizens they're the interim government and you can't fire upon protesters you have to be proportional and this was way beyond all proportion. Let me show you some pictures here so you get a sense of how bad it was. Obviously significant clashes uh, leading to not just shootings but uh, general chaos. Uh, and Muslim Brotherhood is fighting back throughout the streets and they've grabbed rifles and they're saying that this is our Egyptian army referring to their weapons. So this is a disaster in Egypt. Now look there were clashes before that I'm going to tell you about, but as we see more and more evidence of how out of hand this particular clash is, I'm really worried about the future of Egypt because it looks like the Muslim Brotherhood is not going to take this lying down, nor should they. Now, warning before I show you the next set of pictures, because they are graphic and involves uh, obviously people who have been killed. but. I always believe in showing these pictures because you've got to see what actually happened. It's easy to say, well, I'm secular, I don't believe in the Muslim brother Brotherhood, and I'm on the side of the army. But when you actually see what the army did, it becomes a little harder. Okay, so here's what actually happened. Now look, I told you there's also 43 dead cops, right? So there are clashes, but it does appear that the police did start it, and this is really bad stuff. And you know, you can say, oh well, the Muslim Brotherhood started earlier when they you know committed acts of violence in other instances and I know that they did but then you respond to those incidences and you by the way try to find who did it prosecute them bring them to justice you don't do it by indiscriminately firing into crowds so this is a really bad idea by the Egyptian military and by the way they've also declared a state of emergency for 30 days Vice President Mohammed al Baradai has already resigned saying that he does not want a drop of blood on his conscience. He believes that there was a peaceful way to sort this process out, but that the military wouldn't wait for that and they launched this attack instead. Now, a bystander said about this, uh, is this the democracy everyone talked about? The army shooting people in the streets? Is this what we were promised? And no, it is not. And by the way, if you think, well, I don't like the Muslim Brotherhood, I'd like to do it to them today. Well, if you let the military do it to them today, who are they going to do it to tomorrow? It's a bad idea for any democracy to be operated in this way. And obviously, we have a very unique situation here, because the military did take over. It's not exactly a democracy. Now, under the Muslim Brotherhood, unfortunately, they had changed the Constitution, the Parliament, etc., in such a way, we were also concerned that that was not a democracy. So... But either way, doing this in any form of government is not the right way to go. Now, army supporters were chanting, the people, the army, one hand, indicating that they do support the army's actions. Uh, on the other hand, the Muslim Brotherhood uh, supporters were chanting, the army, Sisi, referring to the top general, dirty hands. A lot of talk about hands. Uh, and, uh, and obviously this is beginning, to, not beginning, it is already and has significantly so split the entire Egyptian population. Some Muslim Brotherhood uh, supporters are talking about how Sisi is going to create a situation like in Syria, meaning all-out civil war. So obviously we're very concerned about that. Now a 22-year-old 22, 22 Egyptian who was on the scene 
said, quote, I love the Egyptian army, but what they're doing, killing protesters, it's against humanity. And I think he said it best of all. I think that's exactly right. And you lose the moral high ground because you've done highly immoral things. And it's a recipe not for further calm, but further madness and bloodshed. It's a terrible idea. Mohammed al Baradai was right again. Now, an earlier clash between the cops and protesters uh, from about a week ago also gives you a sense of how the cops operate. Now, this is a report from uh, independent journalists on the ground. They said about the people who had been shot, quote, many of those arriving bore gunshot wounds to the head and chest, according to a Human Rights Watch. Well, that's not good. When you're talking about shots to the head and chest, that sounds like execution style. So then we go to this report. Doctors at the field hospital told Human Rights Watch that the killings appeared more targeted than in a previous massacre at a Republican Guard office in Cairo. Now, if they're shooting at specific people that are protesters, knowing that they're protesters, and they're going for headshots, this is not good news. And you can see why the Muslim Brotherhood, of course, was upset about that from the earlier protests. And finally, Dr. Fawad, who treated some of those patients in the earlier protests, said this time it was like 80% were shot by snipers targeted from above and there were helicopters from the military at that protest and they apparently were shooting from above headshots as well so this is in no way shape or form how you run things and so I'm afraid that the Egyptian military is inviting disaster here as much as I am 100 percent ideologically opposed to the Muslim Brotherhood the actions of the Egyptian military here are deplorable and clearly the wrong way to go. Now, liberal secularists who started the revolution in the first place that ousted Mubarak unfortunately have no home. They have no home in this military where they, we, they've taken this kind of violent action the military has. They certainly have no home in the Muslim Brotherhood and I'm worried about Egypt, its future, its fate and where this might lead. But right now it is a bad, bad scene and only made worse by the actions of the military today.